Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker, and the reason I'm wearing this mask is because we've got a Make-A-Wish kid in the studio tonight. <laughs> See, that's, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> are we going to get that, or, or are we going to wait for commercial? Oh, my God! Did she... Did she just say that George P. Wilbur was Tom Tucker's stage name? It is him! I can't believe it! I mean, th that's like my favorite movie ever! I thought the Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas was your favorite movie. No, that's my favorite period piece. Well, Dad, and good night and good luck. Oh, hi, Chris. How was school? It was great. I met a girl, Mom. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna go upstairs and alternate between hopeful excitement and suicidal pessimism. Hey, uh, excuse me, Mr. Tucker, you got a second? Oh, hello, Peter. Sure, come on in. Thanks. Um, hey, listen, I just found out that you were the guy who played Michael Myers in Halloween 4. Oh, I suppose. Thanks. Hey, so what happened? How come you never did any more movies? Well, I tried to make a career out there in Hollywood. I wish I'd known that then. You see, life after Halloween 4 wasn't exactly smooth sailing. The work I did manage to get was usually just bit parts that didn't last too long. Like the role of Denise's boyfriend. Why are none of you the same shade of black? I was also coked out of my skull most of the time. I left Hollywood, moved back to my hometown of Quahog, and wound up working here as a news anchor. Oh, of course, but it's over for me. That's all in the past. Well, if you ask me, you got the makings of a star. I, I don't even have an agent anymore. Well, and how about this? I'll be your agent. You? Yeah, I've seen every episode of Entourage. You're Halloween 4 better. Look, I appreciate your offer, but I've got a pretty good thing going here. Wait, Peter, don't go! So you changed your mind, huh, buddy? We going to Hollywood? Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. And at Peter Griffin Cadillac, we believe in three things. Fair dealing, family, and friendship. All right, Lois, remember to feed the cat, and remember to get a cat. I still don't understand why you gotta go all the way to Hollywood. Dad, can I have money for dance classes? Sit down, you dumpy bread loaf. I'd pay to see you not dance. When will you be back? I don't wanna dance. You'll dance. <laughs> don't be silly, Tom. You're an actor, and this is where you belong. Now, let's take some of this complimentary luggage and get going. Oh, um, okay. Well, do you have any experience handling bags? I thought the airport was Hollywood. Hey, Mom, I want you to meet my new girlfriend. New girlfriend? Yeah. You remember that girl Lindsay I told you about? Well, I asked her out, and now we are dating. Oh, my God. My goodness, look at you. Do you even realize who you look like? Cameron Diaz, that's who. Are you kidding me? Are they not seeing this? I know, it's kind of creepy. It's almost like he's dating Lois. Yeah, looks like somebody's getting a little Oedipusy. All right, Tom, this is totally going to work. All the biggest Hollywood players eat here, and we just got to make them think we're one of them. Yes, I will have the big and fancy, and my client here will have a bottle of your best steak. Right away, sir. Wait, which one am I again? The agent. And who's paying for dinner? I assumed you were. We have to go. Not expensive enough. You've got ten seconds to dazzle me. Go! Well, I'm the casting director for NCIS, and we need an actor for a small role that shoots tomorrow. This is your man. Dad, huh, Tom? You're back in the business. Wow, Peter, I can't believe it. Hey, don't be so surprised. I've been pounding the pavement for you, buddy. Good morning, I'm Tom Tucker. Coming up, we talk to a man on the street while a man further back on the street flips you off. I'm standing here surrounded by snowdrifts, stalled cars, and the one douchebag who wears a tank top every time there's a blizzard. Yeah, this is nothing. Guy at work drank a quart of motor oil once and didn't even die from it. Put that on the news, but you won't. Jeez, Joe. That's normal. Well, looks like the whole neighborhood's out here. Yeah, just hope that weird albino up the street doesn't show up. That guy creeps me out. Hello, Peter. Yeah, uh, uh, hey, hey, Bill. Well, I'm all done shoveling your walk, Mr. Herbert. Thanks, Chris, but there's some in here, too. L what is it, like Italian ice? Yeah, exactly, like a sorbet. <laughs> ah, that's not lemon! No, it's not. You bastard! I was having fun playing in the snow, and now you've ruined it like a pizza place ruins a salad! I got a can of whole black olives. Should I slice them up? What are you, crazy? No, you keep them whole. You're gonna want to know you've got an olive in your mouth. What about this tomato? Now, should we put it in a bowl? No, let's put it in a lasagna tray. Okay, great. I'll take it. Oh, and make sure to stick it right on top of the pizza so it stays nice and warm. 
All right, Stewie. You all set to spend the day with Grandma and Grandpa? Oh, I hate being around old people. They've always got weird stuff in their refrigerator. Ah, oh, sorry. Thought I had more time. Hi, Daddy. Stewie's all ready. You boys have fun. There's my little guy. Well, Grandpa's here. Oh, God, it's the song again. Hey, just so you know, we're not listening to a radio station. We're listening to the hiss between two radio stations. Hey! Hey, wake up! Wake up! You, lady, wake him up! You like the Tom and Jerry, do you, dear? Well, we'll dial them up when we get home. What the hell are you talking about? We're about to... <gasps> Goodness, dear, I'm so sorry. No worries. Now I can work at Hot Topic and make people sick as I ring up their purchases. Dude, bad news. You're dead. What? But I'm death. Sorry, dude. Super death. You're done. So, what now? I go to heaven? Nope. When a death dies, he gets reincarnated. Oh, no! The egg that I was supposed to take care of for my high school project! Mr. Burke was right. I'm not ready to be a parent. Ah! It was a dream! I need a glass of water. Wait a minute. I moved out of the desert years ago. Maybe this is a dream. Daddy, I'm so happy you're all right. We're lucky it wasn't more serious. Hey, how's the old guy doing? Please, Joe, I, I know he had an accident, but can't you look the other way this one time as a friend? Yeah, you know, Joe, you owed his family. I didn't tell anyone about your Fiona Apple tribute video. And it's a sad, sad world. When a girl will break a boy just because she can. I'm broke. Listen, I don't have time for this. I'm late for a hostile takeover of a jelly factory. I'll show those smuckers. That's fine, but you can't drive. Slow down? I can't slow down. I'm running a $6 billion company. If I slow down, the company goes under. It just seems to me that perhaps it's time to think about retirement. The gentlemen from Zurich are here for your 10 o'clock. Will you need anything else? Mr. Pewterschmidt. That is true. It does sometimes take me a while to moisten my mouth. Oh, Daddy, I think that's for the best. I need a doctor. Is there a doctor? We now return to the Super Friends Accountant. Look, you guys are hemorrhaging money. This Hall of Justice is sitting on five acres of commercial real estate. How do you afford this? Look, you may need to reach out to some wealthy benefactors for financial backing. Do any of you know billionaire Bruce Wayne? No, none of us do. And he wouldn't want to lend us money anyway. Mr. Punishman, what are you doing here? I'm retired now. Got a lot of free time. So, what do you guys do here? That's my daughter you're talking about. Oh, I mean, this, um... Red-headed lady who lives in my bed was a real pain in the ass this morning. Yeah, that's hot. That's hot. I'm gonna think about that tonight. Oh, we do all kinds of crazy stuff. Sometimes we even have phone sex. <laughs> yeah, don't wash the mouthpiece. I was very brave when the doctor gave me that shot, wasn't I, Lois? Yes, Peter, you were very brave. Even when I knew that he was going to give me the shot, I just kept looking at him in the eye and talking to him about my summer plans. I don't know what you want. I don't know how to help. From the proposal and the change-up and a ton of upcoming stuff? Yeah, that's me. I was on my way to Newport, and I kind of got turned around. Of course, Mr. Reynolds, we'd be happy to give you directions. You take 138 to the Jamestown Bridge, and you're gonna follow There's the- a fire truck. Wow, he was really nice. Not like when I met that bitch, Shelly Duvall. Hi, I'm Shelly Duvall. Very nice to meet you. Big deal. Lois, that dog with the different colored eyes is back. Ew, and gross. It looks like he's got a boner. Hey, look who it is. Hey, Ryan Reynolds, what are you doing in Cleveland's house? Well, believe it or not, they've decided to shoot my movie in Quahog instead of Newport. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, I'm embarrassed. I'm standing out here without a shirt on, and my pajama bottoms are riding insanely low on my hips. Hey, how much money you make? Hey, Lois, what's going on here? Oh, it's my book club, Peter. Come, join us. Oh, okay. 
Oh, I lose. Peter, one, you, zero. Oh, I lose again. Peter, two, you, you zero. You've been practicing. <laughs>